It's been nearly a year since deputies raided the home of former Pritchard Water Board manager Nia Bradley. Officers confiscated a couple of trailer loads of items they say were illegally purchased with a Pritchard Water and Sewer System credit card. So what happened to all that merchandise? Well, Fox 10 News reporter Brendan Kirby asked that question. He got an answer, but it's not going to make taxpayers real happy, right, Brendan? Yeah, well, Byron and Elise, all of this stuff had been stored at a county-owned facility for free, but in June, the district attorney's office had to move it into a rental storage unit. All these items you see here from a raid in February of last year are evidence. Prosecutors say they were purchased by Pritchard Water and Sewer Board customers. They say Nia Bradley, who is the system's operations manager, used her utility credit card to make hundreds of thousands of dollars of personal purchases. She denies those allegations. The DA's office has an evidence room, but it quickly became clear it wasn't big enough to hold everything that officers pulled out of the Bradley home in Sims. It's cost the state, it's cost the taxpayers a lot of money every month to pay for climate controlled storage units. Those two storage units cost $517 a month or more than $5,300 so far. Mobile County District Attorney Keith Blackwood says he recently consolidated those items into one unit. In this economy, any amount of money, uh, taxpayer money is going to be significant, um, you know, especially uh, with the funding problems that uh, every district attorney's office in the state experiences. The list of seized items includes vacuums, safes, Apple watches, tablets, designer shoes, purses, bedding, knives, and many other things. Authorities also seized 2,400 pages of financial records from the water system headquarters. Gordon Armstrong, an attorney for Bradley's husband, Anthony Bradley, says authorities took more than what might have been purchased with those credit cards. He says that includes family photo albums and equipment his client uses for a health condition. If you look at the inventory return, there are things they took that belong to their family members, their grandparents, right. that were family hand-me-downs that they took. Uh, so they definitely overstepped. DA Blackwood says his ultimate aim is to get a court order to auction off these items, but a judge last month put a civil suit over those items on hold until after the criminal case is resolved. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.